Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. I'm excited to share my content with you, and I hope you enjoy watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated on my latest videos. Let's get started. In this video we are going to see about what causes a heart attack if there is no blockage. Chest pain is a common symptom of a heart attack, but there are also many other conditions that can cause chest pain that mimic the symptoms of a heart attack. How does a heart attack happen? A heart attack happens when an artery that brings blood to your heart gets completely blocked all of a sudden, a coronary artery. Atherosclerosis is a disease that affects all of the arteries in your body. In this disease, plaque, which is made of fat, builds up in the arteries and causes blockages. This plaque makes the arteries narrower, which makes it harder for blood to flow through. A thin cap made of fibers that breaks apart can sit on top of a plaque. When an atherosclerotic plaque breaks, debris from the plaque can get into the bloodstream. This can cause platelets and red blood cells to gather at the site of the break, blocking blood flow to the artery. On the other hand, a piece of the plaque may break off and move with the blood. This piece of plaque can then get stuck in a narrowed part of the artery, and blood will start to clot around it. This blood clot, called thrombosis, can stop blood flow through the artery in part or in whole. Ischemia is what happens when blood flow stops. A heart attack is a medical emergency that needs help right away. This is why. Your heart is made up of muscles. Without blood, the heart muscle starts to die because it can't get the oxygen and nutrients it needs. So, when it comes to treating a heart attack, every second counts. A big heart attack can be caused by a large blockage, especially in a major blood vessel like the left anterior descending artery. Heart failure can happen after a large heart attack that isn't treated quickly and aggressively. When you have certain types of heart failure, your chance of dying within 5 years can be as high as 50%, which is worse than many types of cancer. It is better to go to the hospital and find out that you are not having a heart attack than to stay home and have one. That's because there are so many bad things that can happen if you don't treat a heart attack. If your symptoms last longer than 15 minutes, heart muscle cells are more likely to die. It is very important for you and your heart that you see a doctor right away. For the best care, an interventional cardiologist or surgeon needs about 90 minutes from the start of a heart attack to fix the blood flow to the heart before important heart tissue dies or is damaged. Some of the common conditions that can cause chest pain include Angina Angina is chest pain or discomfort that occurs when the blood flow to the heart muscle is reduced. It is usually caused by a buildup of plaque in the coronary arteries, which supply the heart with blood. There are two main types of angina, stable angina and unstable angina. Stable angina is usually triggered by physical exertion or stress and can be relieved by rest or nitroglycerin. Unstable angina is more unpredictable and can occur at rest, or with less exertion than before. It can be a sign that a heart attack is imminent. The symptoms of angina can include chest pain or discomfort. This can feel like pressure, fullness, squeezing, or burning in the chest. Pain or discomfort in the arms, neck, jaw, shoulder, or back. Shortness of breath. Nausea or vomiting. Sweating. If you experience any of these symptoms, it's important to seek medical attention right away. Treatment for angina may include lifestyle changes, such as exercise, eating a healthy diet, and quitting smoking, as well as medications to improve blood flow and manage symptoms. In some cases, surgery or procedures may be recommended to open blocked arteries. Gastroesophageal Reflux Disease Gastroesophageal Reflux Disease GERD, is a condition in which stomach acid flows back into the esophagus, causing irritation and discomfort. The esophagus is the tube that connects the mouth to the stomach. The symptoms of GERD can include Heartburn a burning sensation in the chest that can spread to the neck, throat, or jaw. Regurgitation. A bitter or sour tasting acid backing up into the throat or mouth. Chest pain. A burning or tightness in the chest, similar to the feeling of angina. Difficulty swallowing. A feeling that food is stuck in the throat or chest. Chronic cough or hoarseness. A persistent cough or change in voice caused by the acid irritating the throat. Treatment for GERD may include lifestyle changes, such as avoiding certain foods and drinks that trigger symptoms, losing weight, and not eating close to bedtime. Medications, such as antacids and proton pump inhibitors, can also be used to reduce the amount of acid produced by the stomach. In severe cases, 
surgery may be recommended to tighten the muscle between the esophagus and stomach to prevent reflux. Muscle strain or injury. Muscle strain or injury can cause chest pain. The chest muscles, along with the muscles in the back and rib cage, help protect the heart and lungs. Overuse, injury, or strain of these muscles can cause chest pain. The symptoms of a muscle strain or injury in the chest can include pain, a dull or sharp pain in the chest that may be constant or intermittent, tenderness, pain or discomfort when pressing on the affected area, stiffness, difficulty moving the affected area due to pain or discomfort, swelling, a visible increase in size or puffiness in the affected area, bruising, a discoloration of the skin caused by internal bleeding from the injury. Treatment for a muscle strain or injury in the chest typically involves rest, ice, compression, and elevation to reduce pain and swelling. Over-the-counter pain relievers, such as ibuprofen or acetaminophen, can also be used to manage pain. Physical therapy or other exercises may be recommended to help strengthen the affected muscles and prevent future injuries. If you are experiencing chest pain and suspect a muscle strain or injury, it's important to see a healthcare professional to receive an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment. Pulmonary embolism. A pulmonary embolism, PE, is a blood clot that occurs in the lungs, blocking blood flow and potentially causing serious damage to the lung tissue. PE is a potentially life-threatening condition that requires prompt medical attention. The symptoms of a pulmonary embolism can include sudden shortness of breath. This may occur even when you are at rest or with minimal exertion chest pain, a sharp, stabbing pain in the chest that may be worse when you take a deep breath or cough, rapid or irregular heartbeat, lightheadedness or fainting, coughing up blood. PE can develop from a blood clot that forms elsewhere in the body and travels to the lungs. The risk of PE is increased by certain factors, such as immobility, such as after surgery or a long plane ride, cancer, hormonal therapy, and a family history of blood clots. Treatment for a pulmonary embolism typically involves medications to break up or dissolve the blood clot, as well as measures to prevent new clots from forming. This may include anticoagulant medications, such as warfarin or heparin, or other treatments, such as filters placed in the vena cava to prevent clots from traveling to the lungs. If you suspect that you have a pulmonary embolism, it's important to seek medical attention immediately. Early diagnosis and treatment can help prevent serious complications and improve your chances of recovery. Panic attack. A panic attack is a sudden and intense episode of fear or anxiety that can cause physical and emotional symptoms. The physical symptoms of a panic attack can be mistaken for a heart attack, making it important to understand the differences. The symptoms of a panic attack can include sudden, intense fear, a feeling of impending doom or danger that comes on suddenly and without warning. Rapid heartbeat. A feeling that your heart is racing or beating irregularly. Chest pain or discomfort. A tightness, pressure, or pain in the chest that may be mistaken for angina or a heart attack. Shortness of breath. A feeling of being unable to catch your breath, as if you are suffocating. Sweating. Profuse sweating, especially on the face and palms. Shaking or trembling. Uncontrollable shaking or trembling in the hands, arms, legs, or entire body numbness or tingling a feeling of pins and needles in the fingers or face treatment for panic attacks typically involves a combination of therapy such as cognitive behavioral therapy and medications such as antidepressants or heart attack symptoms include pain in the middle of the chest that lasts for more than a few minutes or goes away and comes back it might seem like pressure squeezing fullness or stabbing pain that is uncomfortable but chest pain does not always come before a heart attack. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and leave a comment below. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay updated on my latest videos. Until next time, take care.